Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Armando Perez. And I'm Dion Gandy. Today is Thursday, December 1st, and we're here with your daily announcements. The Black Student Union is creating care packages for the less fortunate this holiday season. Displayed on the screen are a variety of items requested. Donations are accepted in Ms. Corbin's classroom in HP10. And if you have any questions, text their Instagram at BSUCOHS. For the next two weeks, ASB is partnering with Men's Soccer and the Elk Grove Food Bank for a food drive to support our local community. They're accepting dry or canned food, small cans, and ramen noodle packs. For any donations you make, you will be rewarded with IMCO tickets. Please, please bring all donations to the leadership room next to the cafeteria. Sophomores and juniors are invited to come to movie night this Friday in the MP room between 5 and 8 p.m. They will be showing a Tim Burton classic, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Entry is free, but snacks and drinks will be available for purchase. This is the last chance for sophomores and juniors before, before movie night to be cleared from the no activities list at today's lunch, lunch bunch at HL6. Now let's pass it on over to Angelina and Damon for In the News. Well, hello there, Wolfpack. I'm David Ramos. And I'm Angela Gordy. We're here with your In the News update. Madison Mogan, Kaylee Goncalves, Zana Kernoodle, and Ethan Chapman were all students of the University of Idaho. They were found fatally stabbed in their own off-campus home in Moscow, Idaho, three weeks ago, and was described by the local coroner as one of the most gruesome slayings she had ever seen. After investigating further, police are going back on their statement that it was a targeted attack, saying it was a miscommunication. Remember everyone to always make sure that your doors and windows are locked and secure. China has implemented a zero COVID policy using strict lockdowns and community-wide testing to keep the case close to zero. Many are concerned that this policy does not have a clear endpoint, nor does it seem to have adapted with the changing science and evolution of the virus. But China seems to be easing up on these policies after mass protests, lifting restrictions in some major cities yesterday. Last weekend, five people were killed and eight people were hospitalized in a shooting at a Colorado Springs gay nightclub. This week, they unfurled a 25-foot flag in front of Colorado Springs Town Hall in order to mourn the victims of the shooting and support the LGBTQ community. With a growing and diversifying population, the city is a patchwork of despair, social, and cultural fabrics. It's a place full of art shops, breweries, mega churches, military bases, a liberal arts college, and the Air Force Academy. For years, it's marketed itself as an outdoorsy boomstown, with the population set to top Denver's by 2050. But the shooting has raised uneasy questions about the lasting legacy of cultural conflicts that caught fire decades ago, and gave Colorado Springs a reputation as a cauldron of religion-infused conservatism, while LGBTQ people didn't fit in with, the most with most community leaders' idea of family values. Christine McVie of Fleetwood Mac passed away yesterday at the age of 79 following a short illness. Fleetwood Mac released the mega-selling album Rumors into 1977. Rumors was the number one album for 31 weeks that year, selling more than 41 million copies. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Damon Ramos. And I'm Angelina Doherty. Back to the Anchors. Seniors, there's only one more college workshop left for fall. The workshop is in the College and Career Center next Wednesday and starts at 8.30 in the morning. Now let's check out the marching band's performance at Veterans, at Veterans Day. Uh, never, mind on vet, never mind on the package. Casa Permanente has announced the application window for the paid summer internship program for high school students. The internship provides an opportunity to gain hands-on experience in various non-medical careers, including finance, communications, hospital operations, and many more. You can apply until December 23rd for the Zoom link and for, and for more information, please check your Synergy email. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Armando Perez. And I'm Dion Gandy. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Eat a Red, Red Apple, Apple Day, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.